Discussing Farmers' Carbon Future with Southern Scientific Services. Michael, why are Southern Scientific here? Uh, we're taking soil samples again. We tested uh, this farm last January with this core for mm. PK and lime. We're testing now with this core to lift the 30 centimetres. So why is Southern Scientific taking these samples? We're here today in James McCarthy's farm. It's a dairy farm here in the heart of County Kerry. The reason why we're taking these samples now is that we want to assess the profile of carbon in the soil to a depth of 30 centimetres where in January we just did the top soil at 10 centimetres and 4 inches and now we want to actually take um, a further measurement uh, so that James will know the carbon content of his soil which will form the time zero or reference value for his soil. Over a few days he will take samples in each one of his fields or paddocks and we will test them in the laboratory for carbon and we will give him back a report giving him the carbon percentage in his soil uh, on a profile basis across his farm. So what is carbon sequestration? Carbon sequestration is um, the taking of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and bringing it down into the ground through the plants first of all uh, to increase the plant volume mass and then also increasing carbon in the soil and therefore improving the soil by increasing the organic matter content of the soil. Right, so this field grass here now has taken carbon from the atmosphere and mm -hmm. that's most of the structure of the grass that you see uh, when you take out the water is carbon from the air. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. there's also carbon going into the soil. There is. So when the cattle come along and they eat the grass, they're taking away the carbon, but the carbon should be staying in the soil. Some of the carbon will go into the soil and will be present in the roots. Right. And also uh, the animal life or insect life that's actually in the worms and so on and so forth that are in beetles that are in the soil. And they'll also make up the, the living and, and biomass and then eventually the dead biomass. Okay, so when we take our normal sample, we're just taking uh, testing for uh, night, our phosphorus, potassium and lime requirement. Mm -hmm. But when you want to take a, a deeper core now, and yeah. test for carbon and a few other things. Yeah, one of the principles of um, improvement of soil uh, organic carbon or increasing soil organic carbon carbon sequestration as we just said is you need the soil to be of a good quality and good standard you won't sequester carbon with a mediocre soil you have to have a high soil fertility okay. and for that reason you need to adjust and tune the soil fertility in other words you need to do your basic uh, phosphorus potassium and your lime but you also need to do the trace elements we call that soil health check okay so let's let's January, I sampled the whole farm with this core for mm. PK and lime requirement. But now I'm sampling, you're going to test as well for some of the trace elements. Yes. Right. With the ordinary four inch core or zero to 10 centimeter core, we can do the basic soil test and the trace elements. But for the carbon, we need to actually go deeper. We need to go to 30 centimeters, right. which is one foot. And the reason for that is that if carbon sequestration is to become monetized or um, uh, 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 subsidized or incentivized by the national government in Europe, people will know exactly how much carbon they have. So that when they measure the carbon on time equal to zero or the year one, uh, they will have a reference value. And then in five years time or maybe 10 years time, they will know the accumulated carbon through sequestration. So for carbon sequestration, uh, there might be a scheme by the EU to pay farmers, but are there other benefits for farmers in uh, maintaining the carbon in the soil and enhancing the carbon in the soil? There is. When you do the grassland management that's required for carbon sequestration, in other words, you have your soil fertility in good order and um, all of the nutrients that are present for to enable optimum carbon sequestration are in place. Um, by increasing soil organic carbon, you also increase the quality of the soil, which means that you, you increase, uh, for example, its, um, its cation exchange capacity, so you hold nutrients. You're, you're, you're more likely to accumulate nitrogen, which means you're going to have a higher store of nitrogen present, okay. and, uh, and that actually increases the fertility and thereby increase the yield. So there's a, double, there's a double benefit for farmers when they do the hard work of actually increasing the, the, the fertility of each soil by, by tuning up all of the trace elements. So in terms of uh, carbon tonnage, how much uh, carbon can be sequestered on a farm like this? Yeah, that's quite variable uh, depending on the soil type. But if the grassland management is at its optimum, uh, one could really achieve uh, more than 0.6 tonnes of carbon per hectare per year right. and possibly up to 1.3 
Uh, this is what's been seen in studies um, in different parts of the world uh, on carbon sequestration. Right, and so that, that farmers would be paid for that carbon by somebody maybe emitting it at the other end of, in some other industry or some other, or that's, by an EU scheme. Yeah, that's right. Not operating in Ireland at the moment, or indeed in most parts of Europe, but in the US, for example, um, a number of companies have been paying farmers to, to sequester carbon into their tillage land, their arable land, and um, that carbon um, creates a, a credit, or a unit credit, which is usually the tonnage, one ton. Uh, it's about $30 per, per ton. And uh, that carbon then is actually, uh, once verified and certified after a number of years, that carbon then becomes a tradable entity. So that carbon is being purchased by traders. Companies like Microsoft are buying up these, these uh, certificates. Um, so a, car a farmer could hold the carbon in the ground, but he would give the certificate to a trader, and that's, that, that carbon then would be sold on the open market. But, the, and so, but it will need to be certified by taking a soil test uh, yes. uh, 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 at, on day one, and then taking it some time later to show that the carbon has, uh, in the soil has increased. That's right, that's, uh, there, and there are companies in the US, uh, such as for example Indigo, who are verifying uh, the quantity of carbon to actually um, uh, to authenticate this certificate so that it can be traded uh, confidently. Uh, and it's, of course, it's a, this, carbon then, this carbon credit then is set off against the, these companies, such as, for example, Microsoft, uh, to allow them to attain their zero carbon emissions to address climate change, their part in climate change. Our Soil Carbon Analysis Service offers all the tests needed to start your carbon farming future. To learn more, email info at southernscientificireland.com.